Chloe, I'm the social media manager here at People. I've been in the marketing industry for just over seven years now, and the more agency side just over the last year in particular. I probably say my biggest achievement is the fact that I was able to shadow a board meeting, the operations board meeting last month as well. That's a big achievement being 27. Um, also a female being invited into that environment and being made to feel really comfortable, talking about different ideas, really understanding the director level of what they discuss as well and the excitement for people and what they talk about to help the business grow. It was a really big opportunity for me and I really enjoyed it and definitely it will be able to shadow in the future which is a, a big achievement for me. So I think from like a marketing perspective and business side is that Zara Davies, so one of the Dragon's Gen entrepreneurs, so I follow her here on Instagram, she's just been on Strictly Come Dancing, she's got a really successful crafting business. I love her because she is a mum but she's very career driven and she demonstrates how she's up at five o'clock, trained on a Peloton bike, she's taking the kids for the school run but then she's also then doing a full day of work, she might then shoot on QVC in the evening at like eight o'clock to US market and she really is a really good example to the women about how you can be career driven and then also have a family and kind of do it all. Don't get me wrong, she works really hard, that's very clear to see, but it's also demonstrates that women can be very successful as well and she shows that a lot. So probably say for is my mum. So she's very influential in kind of like my life in particular. She's very strong, she's very driven. She's always been there for like me and my older brother but then also had her own career as well earlier on. So I think that she's a very good example of how you can really definitely do both. I'd say one thing that I do definitely influence everybody is the fact that I try and have really positive energy in the office as well, encourage others in the team to really speak up in meters, give them that open platform for them to have their voice and have their share in conversations, making sure everyone feels really inclusive and that we are all working towards one goal. It doesn't matter what level you are in the team, everyone is on the same kind of vision and pathway together. And it's if we, if we achieve together, it's a celebration for all of us, not just for a manager or a head of or a director. We really do celebrate together. And then one thing as well that I think is a really great atmosphere and influence of us is that we do have very open door policy so if I want to pop in and see one of the directors more than welcome to do so it really is that real open open communication and you'll find that more senior people in the business so talking to different people in the teams asking how they are getting to know them and it's really bringing people together I think that's very important So for me, break the bias means about breaking stereotypes as well. Hopefully we'll get to a place where an environment in a workplace or even from a personal perspective is that it's a really open culture. We include everybody. I hope that we'll get to that. I think times have changed that it's stereotypically that a woman is the person that stays at home, that is the kind of family person. They can be career driven and have that successful growth in their career and also have a great family and also it's okay if a woman doesn't want to do both they can do either and I think that's just got I think that's something I'd like to see more accepting it definitely is as the years go on as well.